and welcome back to the show. Just in time to meet today's guests. Now, they love lollies, jandals, and the sound of kiwi birds in the wild. Please welcome the owners of some awesome bling, New Zealand's 100th Olympic medal winners, Blair Chook and Peter Burling. Welcome, boys. Thanks, thanks for having us on the show. Oh, no, honestly, congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Hello, look at your <laughs> bling right there. Not bad, huh? That is outstanding. So can you describe your experience for us in three words? Yeah, I suppose um, it was pretty unforgettable and uh, we had a lot of fun. And, and intense, I think. During yeah. the regatta was pretty intense, but uh, yeah, I guess the different parts of the whole experience, those three words came into play at some stage, so yeah, pretty awesome. That is fantastic. Now, um, what we love about you guys is that you're such a tight team as a duo. I mean, you train <laughs> together. You're both yeah. from coastal <laughs> towns. Um, you travel together. You go on fishing trips together. Yeah. Do sailors make good fishermen? Yeah, we're not bad. We, we do. We enjoy uh, fishing, spear fishing, and uh, yeah, we catch some, got some pretty good fish over the last four years. So it's been, it's been good. But um, you know, it's been really full on. Um, been together yeah, four years. Basically, like a relationship. Ma basically married, I think. AP. Well, yeah. you said it. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um, what's the secret to a good uh, bromance relationship? I'm not really sure. I suppose it's just getting along well and having a lot of fun with it, and yeah, making sure we don't get too serious and. Yeah, we're both pretty easy going guys, so we're just going. Who has what role? Like, who's the bossy one? Uh, we look after different parts <laughs> of the campaign, I guess, because we try, you know, try to, you know, spread our skills out. So Pete normally looks after the boat, makes sure that's all ready to roll, and uh, look after a bit more of the logistics and that sort of thing. So, you know, we just so much going on in the campaign, we just try to spread it out and. Um, yeah, make sure we use us, you know, use our skills to the best best we can. Awesome. Now here in New Zealand, we have a lot of water. So, um, what kind of skills do you need to be a good sailor on the water? Yeah, I suppose. Well, there's like, the quickest path to the top mark. The breeze obviously changes and shifts and it yeah, builds up and down. So you can see those on the water by the darker patches. Yeah. And then also yeah, just being able to make the boat go fast, faster than other else. It's quite a quite an art to it. I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. There's lots of different parts of sailing, but yeah, just trying to learn. You know, every time we go on the water, we just try to, you know, improve on one, in one aspect. And if we can do that, you know, if we did that every day for four years, we'd, we knew we'd be towards the front um, at the Olympics. So, yeah. it seemed to, seemed to work. Now, speaking Olympics, you just returned from huge success, obviously. Are you already thinking about Rio, though, in 2016? Yeah, look, yeah, we are. We're just uh, not sure how we're going to go about it yet, whether we stay together. Keep our keep our marriage going, or whether we'll, um, <laughs> <laughs> whether whether we'll split. But yeah, we're gonna. No, you can't divorce. Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> um, We'll just you know we'll support help each other. You know whether it means going in different boats. Um, you know we still enjoy sailing together, but just need to you know there's a couple of different things that um, we need to work out before we decide uh, how we're going to go about it. But definitely uh, want to try upgrade this bad boy to. Um, a bit of colour one. 